This week is all about breaking free. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to your intuitive energy update. My name is Christine. I'm with 24 Karat Healing and I'm your spiritual medium, intuitive energy coach and old soul healer. And yes, it is February 10th. This week is just this month already. We're pretty much into the second week of February and it's all about breaking free. So if you don't know who I am, uh, like I said, I'm with 24 Karat Healing. And each week I do a channeling. So, you know, intuitive writing. I just write a little bit. Some Many times it's freestyle as well. But uh, I end up, you know, it, it actually started this morning. I heard the song Break Free by Queen. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with that song. But, he, you know, I went and looked at the lyrics and... It's all about breaking free from your own chains, basically. I mean, there's one line in, in the song that says he doesn't want to be alone, but um, he knows he has to be who he has to be, meaning his authentic self. And for him to do that, he chose to go his own way, even though he was in love. Um, I don't know if you've seen uh, the movie uh, that came out last year about his life and, you know, his rise uh, to fame and all that and his life story, but it's pretty spectacular. Um, it all has to do with unconditional love. Him and Elton John, I mean, they were looking outside externally. They were looking for other people to fill, you know, the love and the, uh, you know, they were looking for the love, the uh, adoration, um, feeling, you know, that they finally fit in somewhere, but they realized <laughs> it, it never would come from their father or their mother or through a relationship. It came from within and it all started with the heart. And yes, this week is, is Valentine's Day on Friday as well. So, you know, break free. That's why the graphics have the hearts with the chains. Um, I just see everyone's heart in a box, you know, in a box uh, with chains. And, you know, it, it Valentine's Day is just a reminder to take care of our hearts. It's not about finding the love of your life and, oh, my gosh, I can't be alone or, why can I never find somebody? <laughs> it, it, we're reminding you is to lead with the heart always. Listen to your heart, as Roxette would say as well. Uh, and she uh, recently passed passed away. Um, geez. So what is you know you know what are you saying? Are you following your heart's desire, your soul's desire? Are you boxing yourself in? Are you, because we talked about chains as well. Are you, you know, holding the chains? Are you wrapping the chains? Who, who has the chains and who has the key? You have the key. <laughs> um, do you have a, you know, a romance with yourself? That's pretty cool to, you know, to fully 100, 1000% love yourself. What are you waiting for? There are so many signs. Yes, signs can be um, nature, animals, coins, feathers, um, repeating numbers I get a lot, and songs, um, smells, certain food, um, just a feeling, a knowing. Um, you know, once you tap in, um, to your spiritual self, things will really pick up, especially in your dreams as well. So don't let fear motivate you. That seems to be the driver in many um, people's lives. I know it was mine for a long time. Um, I just posted about um, 
you know, you're just exhausted and you're not lazy. You're just exhausted from living in fight or flight for your whole life. Guess what, honey? You get to you get to relax. You get to slow down and start listening to this more. <laughs> um, love is who you are and always have been. So somewhere you forgot. Lift the veil. There's no separation. We are all love. It's there. And look for it within. You, you got to do, you got to do the, the tough stuff. Um, I mean, I, I was, I can't remember what I was watching, but it was essentially, um, she, her sister accused her of using food to help her children feel better when they're going through emotional stuff. So she would give them cookies or ice cream or something sweet, like a treat. And she's like, oh, I don't do that. No, no, no. And then she realized her own mother was trying to cheer her up and did the same thing. So she really had an epiphany like, oh, shoot. <laughs> it's true. And I guess it's just a reminder that we are all not perfect. We are born perfect, but we all have lessons to go through. Um, we all have trials. Um, there's, you know, loss. There's death there's triumph, it's, that's life. Um, so we're just, you know, saying break free and you have, you hold the key. Don't box yourself in. Um, we just had a, that full snow moon. It was also a super moon. Um, there are four of them this year. And uh, that the first one was February 9th at 2.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, yeah, it was intense uh, a little bit, but I, I still felt pretty good. I don't know about you guys, how you felt. Let me know. Um, yeah, so this week is all about love. And you know, I, I bought myself a nice little heart. <laughs> Why not? I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to feel that but it's, or see it. It's more of a feeling, right? And last week's cards were all about um, the woman holding the heart and the sun. And there was a lot of prosperity, a lot of Leo um, uh, solar plexus going on here. So now, you know, um, yeah, I'm just just a few things I, I don't want to miss on out on anything here. Just to let you guys know before I go to the cards. Um, there is a Valentine's Day contest. You still have time to enter. It is pinned at the top of my page on Facebook. It's with myself and Saltwater Joys, beautiful organic skincare. And I mean, the value of that is uh, close to $500. So go ahead and, and check it out. Um, as well, um, I do complimentary intuitive coaching, Reiki, meditations, and more. And on that note, I'm doing, um, starting tonight, once a month, complimentary readings, healings, and pulling oracle cards. So that is at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time tonight. Um, it is February 9th. I record for the week of the 10th. Uh, yeah, so make sure you head on over to Facebook for that. I'm doing that. And um, there's also a mentorship going on. It starts February 20th. I only have a few spots left. So comment mentorship if you'd like to get more details on that. <laughs> and as always, this was recorded earlier. So please ask a question uh, or comment, share this out, um, or you know, send me a private message as well. And uh, yeah, so let's get to the cards. Jeepers, I just, you know, I tried to write down everything so I don't forget. Oh, oh my goodness. And, you know, if you really like this video, share it out. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a week or a podcast and weekly show that I do every Wednesday, uh, 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And it's all about the power of healing your energy. All right. And spirit is saying, shh. <laughs> All right, let's find out what is in the cards this week. And you know what? I had two that, that stuck out right away. But uh, what do we need to know? 
for our highest good. What? Oh, here we go. Hmm. So we went from a woman holding a heart to the thinking man. If you can see that, that is four and six. That is a one energy. So yeah, it's all about your intuition, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, this is the thinking man. Um, very, uh, you know, you do you see the quartz crystal, the clear crystal he's holding? You've got feathers. <laughs> so there's a lot of signs here. And then behind him, it always reminds me of the Akashic Records. So the Akashic Records are basically, um, you know, your, your soul's timeline. You know, we talk about past lives and all that stuff. It's it's about understanding. It's a potential presence of a teacher in your life or to arrive very soon. And they're going to educate you in the finer things in life, your chosen direction, and very, you know, great assistance with specific spiritual, mental, and emotional pursuits. And it's telling you to pay attention because this could lead to great strides in personal or professional growth. Um, yeah, so new discipline, new technique, course of study, healing practice that could change your life forever. So be on the lookout uh, for this gentleman. And, you know, <laughs> it might not be this week. It might be the week after, right? You can't just say, okay, this person's coming into, but you can think about that. I mean, there's a lot of thinking learning, messages, healing, because the crystal quartz is a master healer, crystal as well. Your affirmation is you're willing to learn new things. It is safe and comfortable for me to open up and share. All right. Learning, lots of learning. And I see that too, because all of a sudden, right after the full moon, um, I felt, okay, I'm diving in. I'm going to do something new. I'm going to, I want to learn something new. So that's what I've been doing all day. <laughs> I just have a thirst for knowledge, a thirst for knowledge. All right, let's see what the second card is. We're going to have a story here, a timeline, a story. All right, let's see what's coming up here. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, and, you know, we've had this card before and not that long ago, all tied up. 23 so that's a five ah, so they say it's a lack and you know if this is in reverse this is just you know to pay attention to what's going on hopefully you can see maybe that's a little bit better there ah the binds are breaking loose and previously stuck situations are opening up restrictions are clearing out you're ready to break free Hi, break free. Isn't that what <laughs> the song was, the theme for the week? Oh, my goodness. From the habits and patterns that have kept you tied up for so long. Wow, clarity. You're going to be authentic and empowered. It's time to liberate yourself. Break free. I release, this is your affirmation, I release stuck energy, old habits, restrictions. My life is opening up. I'm free to choose my reality. Gosh, and do you see the roses? There's a, a butterfly there, the roses, if I can get the screen right, <laughs> and the rainbow prism. I mean, that, gosh, that is just a crystal array of um, rainbow, quartz, clear, master healing, breaking free energy. Beautiful. All right. And, yeah, you know, I'm I'm getting you know a feeling that or from spirit that there's one more card. There's one more. So hang with me, guys. Hang with me. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, look at that. The garden and the gate. This one I haven't pulled, we haven't pulled very often. Uh, and what is the end result of this whole story of um, the thinking, the learning, the, you know, uh, mentoring, um, the breaking free of your old habits. It's about abundant prosperity. Look at the blossoming garden. And the girl that you see that the gate is locked and the girl wears a key around her neck. Do you see the key? There we go. 
it's bodes well for the financial scene as well. Lots of money, personal pleasures coming your way at this time, okay? But, you know, they're saying don't stay just in the garden out of fear or habit. The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but um, it may not be giving you your spirit the freedom to roam, okay? So uh, there's a little bit of, you know, oh, I got to stay safe. I don't want to expand. Um, you know, and it's great that you, your wealth is, is fantastic, but don't keep it from your karmic path and living your truth. Money is not everything, all right? You have the choice to shift your focus, um, widen your spiritual perspective, and gain the world that's outside of your gate. Your affirmation is you're blessed with the abundant spiritual life every day, every way. Joyous prosperity grows and grows. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, gosh. It, I think it, I see this as a balance between money and um, security. And money isn't everything. Money is not everything. Yes, it can get you, you know, your safety, your security, you know, the, the things that you naturally need in life. But it's, as they say, you know, lottery winners manage to wait or blow all of their money or something, you know, karmically. Uh, it's hard to describe. I'm sure you've seen those shows where they just, they hit, they hit the bottom. They, they go so high so fast, they don't know what to do with it. So they're, they're just saying to try and balance both, that money is not why you get that job um, or that new career or that, you know, the new clothes, a new car, the new house. Those are all great, but it's a facade. They're, they're asking you to work on your spiritual pursuits in balance with money. And they go, they go hand in hand once you find your passion and love for yourself. All right, guys. So this week is about the thinking man. Watch out for a mentor here. Lots of learning. And then you've got the all tied up card as well. So things are breaking loose, breaking loose. We're breaking loose. And then the garden and the gate is just a balance of, um, you know, spirituality and money. And you're naturally abundant and prosperous, okay? That's not something you seek outside. It's already within. All right, guys, I want you to have an amazing week. Please let me know if these messages resonate. Don't forget about the contest, the mentorship. And hey, if you really love this, please let me know. If you have suggestions, please let me know. And uh, please remember, guys, healing begins where the ego ends. Take care. Mwah. Go love yourself.